Today we're taking a tour of the Birdcage Theater in Tombstone, Arizona. The Birdcage Theater was opened in 1881 by Lottie and William Hutchinson. It got its name from one of the patrons, Arthur Lamb, who said the boxes along the balcony look like bird cages, and referring to the girls, he composed the tune, She's Only a Bird in a Gilded Cage. The owners, Lottie and William, liked it so much they renamed the brothel the Birdcage Theater. They said that the Birdcage Theater is a very haunted location, so it shouldn't come as a big surprise because 26 deaths have occurred here. And if you notice, we're going to show you here, there's numerous bullet holes in the walls. There's one here at the um, bar. And there's one on the picture up here on the wall. There's also a hash mark from a, a knife, a stab mark from a knife. We're going to take the tour downstairs in a minute. From what I understand, people have told stories of being pushed down the stairs and Many women have felt a pinch on their butts. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a walk down here into the main theater area. Take a look around. You can see where those bird cages were up there. Well, we have the chance to be by ourselves down here for a bit. I think I'm going to try and coax a little response from any of the spirits that might be hanging around. Is anybody in here that wants to show their self to us? We'd like to see you. We came a long ways today just to come here. Any, uh, anyone up there in the bird cages? This is where the working ladies used to entertain the men up here. I bet back in the day they were all full too. You can touch one of us or? Say something? If you come close here to the camera, I'll probably hear you pretty good. We're going to head down to the poker and bordello rooms downstairs. We're going to take a look under the stairs here. Looks like they just kind of threw the stuff here and left it just as it was. Anybody here? Anybody want to say anything to us?
One of the things that the Birdcage Theater is known for is the longest poker game in history. It was played right here at this table in the basement of the theater. Those who wanted to play a hand had to buy in for a thousand dollars up front. And the poker game was played, they said, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It lasted from 1881 to 1889 for a total of eight years. It's estimated that approximately $10 million was exchanged in the game during the eight years that it lasted. And reportedly the birdcage retained 10% of that money. I didn't catch it until after we got home. When we were walking around down here by the poker table, I was really surprised to hear this male ghostly voice say, I'm out. That's what it sounds like to me. Here it is again. Could it be one of the poker players saying I'm out? I don't know, but I thought it was pretty awesome. I'm sure the Birdcage Theater has a lot more stories to tell. We've had a great time here, and we're off now to explore some more of Tombstone.